So let's take a look at how we might use Personar to debug a real world wide area data transfer performance problem. So say a scientist walks into your office, They're, they have a uh, data repository at a national laboratory, they need to pull some science data out of that repository to their university, and performance is slow. Right? It's a simple network diagram, right? There's some stuff at a, at a lab, there's some stuff at a university, there's this network in the middle, and it's not doing what I need it to do. So as a performance engineer, your job is to expand the path out, use traceroute, use, use whatever tools we have available to look at what the network path looks like and also where the performance uh, testers are located in that path. We go to the Perfsonar lookup service and, and, and generate a diagram. And now we then look and say, okay, how can we use the Perfsonar hosts that are already deployed to go and map out which portions of the path are performing well and which portions of the path are performing poorly. Now, segment to segment testing is actually unlikely to be useful in this case. A lot of folks have a sort of divide and conquer approach, which is fine for a lot of problems. For this problem space, it's actually not useful. If we remember in the TCP loss plot, if you look up there in the upper left, the performance of TCP, even with packet loss, when latency is low, is actually very high. So, so TCP is going to perform well even in the presence of packet loss at short distances. And so if your segment by segment testing essentially runs a set of short distance tests all the way along the path, a portion of it may have packet loss that's crippling to a long distance test, and you may just never find it. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a pivot host. Think of it as a pivot foot in basketball, um, where we, we anchor our testing, and we're going to reach out from that along the path, run the longest clean test that we can find. And what we want to find is the place where we step one more step along the network path, and performance goes bad. Because at that point, we, we can say, between location x and location y in the path, performance changes drastically, this is a place then to focus troubleshooting efforts. So if we go and look now at what the path looks like, in this case, we have a national laboratory connected to ESNet, ESNet's connected to Internet 2, Internet 2's connected to a regional, the regional's connected to the campus. So we pick a pivot host in ESNet, very close to the source, we walk our way into ESNet and Internet 2 and out through the regional, and we run the longest clean test that we can run. Turns out that the longest clean test that we can run goes all the way to the edge of the regional. When we take one more step into the campus, performance becomes poor, but only in one direction. So when we reach out, we go from the ESNet tester to the campus testers, performance is poor. If we go from the campus testers back to the ESNet tester, performance is good. So what we have now is a unidirectional performance problem, a performance problem only in one direction, somewhere between the last hop of the regional and a short distance into the campus. That's now actionable. We can go to the regional and go to the campus and alert them to this, and they can focus their troubleshooting efforts on a small portion of the network path and hopefully find the problem and fix it, and the scientists can actually get their data. So the lesson here is if Perfsonar is already deployed, it's relatively straightforward to go and do this kind of work. You don't need anybody's permission to do it. You just go find the Perfsonar host, run the test, build your map, establish a set of performance characteristics. You can do all of this yourself without having to get anybody on the phone. If Perfsonar boxes aren't deployed already, then you have to do just-in-time deployments. It can take weeks or months to do that. So this is a good reason to have Perfsonar already deployed, and it's a reason why Perfsonar is so helpful in um, ensuring that science DMZ environments uh, run smoothly and run well.